Okay guys, back for another tutorial. This time we'll be doing a Vegas theme. Here are my colors that I'll be using. Gold, black, red, pink, orange, and white. We got, or sorry, yellow. <laughs> we have white and then our uh, final coat and my dirty water from my blues I was just doing. Um, we'll be using very fine pointed pant, excuse me, I can't talk today, paint brushes. And I will be definitely trimming some of these frayed hairs off before we get started. All right, for this, I'm thinking about doing a Las Vegas sign silhouette thing, and I wanted to do an awesome kind of sunsetty gradient. Um, so I'll be using my reds, pinks, oranges, and, and yellows. Um, I forgot to show you guys, for the gradient, it's important to have a brush with flimsy bristles. Um, fan brushes are really great, but I can't seem to find mine. So if you go to Walmart, you can find these really cheap, flimsy bristle brushes. Anyways, um, secret to gradient is to work with wet paint. So you kind of want to use a little bit more than you would probably normally use. Go ahead and work that guy in. I'm going to wipe off a little bit. It's okay if the brush is still a little tainted with the red because you'll be doing a gradient. Ooh, that's a little thick. This is my first time using this pink. Work that into the red. Sometimes I like that streakier effect. I think it looks almost more sunsetty. you know what I mean? I'm going to wipe that guy off. Now I'll be moving on to my orange. Working fast because you want to work with wet paint again. Spread that across. And lastly, we'll throw in our yellow. I'm digging it. We're going to let that guy dry. <clears throat> I'm going to move this guy aside. And we're going to go on to our next rock, since you know I like to do two at a time. I'm going to push this over here. All right. I have this nice long one. I'm going to do the Las Vegas strip silhouette on this guy. So, time for the black paint. All right, so that photo I showed you in the beginning of the video is uh, essentially what it's gonna look like when we're done. I'm going to just sketch a nice straight line across the bottom for the base of our buildings. And you can do this in pencil or pen. Obviously, pencil is preferential because you can erase it or wipe it off. Pen's a little harder to do that with. Beautiful. All right, time for your black. I'll show you guys my little trick when it comes to the um, observation wheel that we have here, the link. Nice, easy trick to get a pretty dang near perfect circle. All right, so I'm just gonna start off I feel like last time I did this, I had slightly bit more room over here. So I'm gonna start off a little off to the right of it for the stratosphere. 
And at this point, I'm literally just going to be drawing a line straight up and down to uh, represent the height. If you can make it straight, that's even better. It's kind of awkward for me right now. I'm trying to avoid hitting the camera. Good enough. All right, so the stratosphere's base is a bit thicker than the top of the structure. So once you got that nice little line going up and down, you can kind of branch it out just oops, a little bit right at the bottom. Thank goodness for uh, touching up with gold paint. I made a little boo-boo already. Actually, I may have just fixed it. All right, there is the base of your stratosphere. Next for the stratosphere, we'll be doing the top portion, this part's super easy as well. Three individual lines. There we go, if I can get it. All right, so we'll be doing the restaurant and the viewing platform. The restaurant is just a nice little rectangle to go right over the top of these pegs or whatever the heck you want to call them. Super simple, right? Now we're going to do kind of a, I guess you want to call a football almond shape. Um, it's going to be similar to what the Las Vegas sign is. And that's just going to go right out from here. We'll do our ride platform up top. If you guys have ever been on top of the stratosphere, it is scary as heck. I am a Las Vegas native, born and raised. Moved away for a bit, but came back. I love my city. And um, I remember having a, a little friend have a birthday party at the stratosphere. And I remember really badly wanting to go on the ride that I'm currently painting, in which it brings you really high up to the tip of the point and then pretty much drops you back down. I am so glad her mother did not let me do that. Probably would have had a heart attack. All right, you guys, there's your stratosphere. Pretty dang simple. Next, we'll be moving on to the Eiffel Tower. It is not going to be as tall as the stratosphere probably going to land uh, somewhere right around here height-wise. Um, it's super simple. Um, I usually start with the base in which I create an arch. Sometimes my free hand is better than others and today is not, not one of those days. All right, so this is going to be the base of our Eiffel Tower. Go ahead and create your little rainbow shape. Maybe that's a better term for it. Arch, rainbow. Go ahead and create that shape. Once you have that, We are going to be moving on 
to one of these horizontal lines, beams, whatever you want to call it, that kind of protrude out the side of the Eiffel Tower and the silhouette of it. And kind of connect. So it's almost kind of resembling an A. All right. Looking good. Next part we'll be doing is going up from here. And I want to bring it uh, around to where I said the point is going to be. So I'm going to make my little mark right around here. I'm going to bring both of my corners straight on up to that guy. Maybe not straight. You can do a slight curve as that is uh, kind of how the Eiffel Tower looks. Short strokes usually help you get a straighter line. Just a, a quick tip, just like your eyeliners, ladies. Gentlemen might not uh, know what we're talking about. Create your little window here. What's great about silhouettes is that you honestly don't have to be exact for people to get the gist of what you're trying to show them. It's a nice, quick, fun, easy rock. All right, go ahead and fill that in a little bit. We'll be creating another parallel beam, or parallel horizontal beam parallel to the one below it. I'm going to make these a little bigger. All right. All right, now we're gonna fill this guy in. I kind of feel like I made him a little too thick, so I might go back through and uh, Make him skinnier here in a bit. All right, we'll put a little mass at the top of this guy and the Eiffel Tower also gets a slight little point to it. All right guys, there's your Eiffel Tower and your stratosphere. Like I said, I think I'm gonna go back to the Eiffel Tower. Change that just a little bit. Um, next, I guess we'll keep to this side and we'll do what I believe is supposed to be the win. This one is super duper easy. The win will probably go about to here. And that is a nice straight line down. Oh, that was close. The other line will be slightly shorter. I feel like I'm running out of room. This rock is a little short. I'd say it's about four inches. And I'm doing this a little bit large for a four inch rock. That's okay though. Swoop, there's your win. How easy was that, you guys? Go ahead and fill that guy in. A nice solid color. We'll go back and do another super easy silhouette once we're done filling this guy in. Beautimus. Um, next I am going to do the Luxor Pyramid. Super easy. Literally just a triangle, you guys. 
So I'm going to make that guy, uh, I'd say about here. And bring that guy down. Sorry, I got a little quiet. I get lost in my painting sometimes. Luxor. Hmm, don't really have a story about that either. I try to avoid, avoid, avoid the, uh, the strip as a local. Other locals will know what I'm talking about. We usually only go there if there's an event such as a concert or, uh, or if we have family in town. Sometimes we get the the fancy to go play tourist and check out our, our downtown. They do have a good mall. All right, there's your Luxor. Um, I guess I will show you guys my cheating trick as to how I do my uh, link, the wheel of the link. Um, and this also requires cleanup afterwards, so it's nice to do it on a solid background. But I cheat, you guys. I use the rim of um, my acrylic bottle. I paint it, and then I stamp it. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Super fast and easy. It doesn't give you, like I said, the cleanest result. But that's okay. We can go back and clean it up with our gold. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stamp. I'm going to overlap a little bit and put it about here. And if you rock it back and forth a little bit, because rocks usually are not flat, you'll get a nice stamp. Well, somewhat of a nice stamp. <laughs> but um, you can go back through and just fill that in. I mean, you got a pretty dang near perfect circle here. All right, you guys, so what I'm going to do, instead of letting you sit here and watch me fix this circle, I'm going to pause this and I'll get back to you guys when I'm all done with that. All righty, I cleaned up my uh, wheel somewhat. Next, we'll be moving on to, I'm not exactly sure what this silhouette is. This might actually be a silhouette of the Mandalay Bay. Um, so I, since I'm running out of room on my short little rock, I'm going to be cutting into my wheel a little bit to make our Mandalay Bay. Mandalay Bay is fairly simple. It's going to be around the height of the Luxor, and it's going to be right about here, straight line down. Straight line down. All right, then we have... A slightly diagonal line to show an angle, and then another diagonal line. It's not too much of a diagonal, just barely, just enough to get that, that hint of an angle. Alright. straight line down and we're gonna fill that in you guys that I like I said I believe is supposed to be the, uh, the silhouette of the Mandalay Bay it's so crazy to um, think that I know what the casinos look like just by their silhouettes I didn't even realize that I I did know what they look like by their silhouettes until I started Painting the rock. But, um, 
Let's make that a little bit more of a diagonal. And we'll make this a little bit more. There we go. Alrighty. Um, the little bulbs on the link are, are pretty simple. Now that the gold is all dry where I kind of touched up around it, um, I usually just do them in equal portions by uh, placing them around the circle and then going back in between. So that one be there. Then we go here. Oh yeah, I'm messing up a lot in this video. I don't even know if I want to post this. Kind of embarrassing. that side is nice. I don't know what's wrong with my left side. I'm just not uh, not able to paint a circle on the left side. I can paint a blob on the left side. All right. There's my blobs and it's driving me insane you guys. Oh my goodness. I'll have to go back and fix that because now there's black in that. Eee! All right, I'm going to work on our uh, Statue of Liberty, which is going to go right in this area. Um, she, I'm going to do a, a nice, simple, basic Statue of Liberty for you guys. Um, so we'll start off with a solid, just line straight down. Okay, this is going to be the beginning of her body. Next, we are going to add her head, which is almost a bean shape, so, or like a figure eight, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, I go through very gently, and I... Give her her crown with uh, very light strokes. All right, there's her crown. Next, we are going to give her a slight shoulder. All right, there's her shoulder. Next, we are going to do her book, which comes out right about here. All right, she's got a little bit of ruffling in her, her smock. So just to give that a little bit of texture, the front of Our Lady Liberty is done. Boom, there's her podium stand. All right, now we're gonna work on the back. Here's her little, uh, little booty bump. I don't really know what else you want to call it. That's what it looks like to me. Um, that's a little exaggerated. <laughs> there we go. All right. Next, we're going to go up. She has a slight uh, hourglass figure. And she comes out into her sleeve. And she's wearing a nice billowy sleeve, so that actually comes out a little bit. Beautiful. All right. 
right, so we're going to work on her arm. Remember the base of the arm is thicker than the wrist, so if you're able to, control your uh, brush stroke. Try to taper off towards the end. And then create her little uh, gauntlet of fire, or whatever you want to call it. Lady Liberty. She kind of has a big head. Ooh, you guys, I don't know if I'm gonna post this one. This is definitely a beginner's video. I am off my game tonight. Last but certainly not least, we will be working on the famous Las Vegas sign, which is going to be over here. And I cannot believe I left so little space for me to work on. But it's okay, and we'll make do with what we got. Um, so this is going to come back to the almond shape. I'm going to make this big, um, just because nothing in this is really proportionate. I'm just kind of going off with whatever. So I'm going to make it about the size of the win so I can fit the word Las Vegas in there. All right, so this has rounded at the north and south points and pointed at the east and west points for the Las Vegas sign. Or my backwards. I'm backwards. Just kidding. It's pointed on the uh, north and south points and it's rounded on on the east and west points. You can always round after you get your your basic shape. I'm going to add my rounded corners after I get my basic diamond shape. Go ahead and fill your little shape in, you guys. I'm going to make it a tiny bit longer. I have a feeling like with my poor painting skills tonight, I'm going to need more space. It could be, I'm going to blame it on the fact that I need new brushes. These are definitely, uh, definitely time for, for new ones. So while that is drying on the inside, we will go to work on, on some other things around this Las Vegas sign. Um, let's see, how about the, the word fabulous? It's in little dots above the word. Las Vegas, and those usually stick off about two, two little dots. One, two. Same on the other side. One, two. All right. Those are dots. We got them. Beautiful. It's getting distorted because it's on the edge of a rock, but that's what you got so far. I really want to make sure that's pointed. Point. All right. All right. So next we're going to do the stand that holds the sign up itself. 
and that uh, kind of just two thin lines that are going to go straight. Down to the floor. Remember short strokes help you get straighter lines, just like your eyeliner. I hope you guys can't hear the TV in the background. I'm watching Friends. <laughs> if you are, that's what all the screaming is. That is Rachel and Monica. Basic. What else is going to be on in the background while I'm painting? All right, now we're going to move on to the little star that we have in here. Let him make your little twinkle. Here's your little star. I want to throw a few palm trees in here because there are a lot of palm trees around our beautiful Las Vegas sign. Um, trees in here. Essentially, that's your Las Vegas sign. I'm going to throw the words Las Vegas in the center. Like I said, my hands are a little shaky today. Hopefully I can do this. I cannot believe I'm actually fitting this on here and that I'm actually spelling the word out somewhat legibly. Alright, so um, last step pretty much would be cleaning up uh, all the, the little parts where it didn't get completely filled in and I guess creating your, your round floor. 
But this is pretty much your silhouette, poorly done, of Las Vegas, all freehand. Good for uh, beginners and people who are bored. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's your Las Vegas silhouette. Now that this guy is pretty dry, I would actually like to do, like I said, my Las Vegas sign on here. So we'll be doing uh, kind of the same thing we just did here, but on a, for a bigger scale. So it'll be nice and easy for, well not easy, but easier than doing it on that tiny, tiny scale rock. First things first guys, we're going to start out with our diamond shape. Again, it's going to be pointed on the north and south ends and rounded on the east and west ends. Deciding where I want to start, it's always the first hard part you encounter is deciding where to start it at. I guess I'm going to start right here, whatever. Sometimes I kind of kick myself for doing this freehand. <laughs> to keep somewhat of my background in there. So I'm going to sketch out with my pencil um, the word Las Vegas and paint around it. So while I sketch that out, I'm gonna pause my video camera. Woo! So I got that all done. Next we will uh, go to uh, the stands. That hold of the, actually no, no. We'll do, um, again, the, the fabulous circles, which are right around the top, and about two of them protrude out the side. Once you got those guys all done. Alright, now we're going to work on the posts that hold up the sign. And again, it's pretty simple. Oh, 
you take it from right in the center here. Right over here. And these are just starting lines. We are going to make them thicker. Bring them down. thicken these guys up. Make them all nice and straight. Twist this guy. All right, next we'll be doing our star. And that is right in here. Go ahead and taper this star off towards the ends and shorter little branches in between the longer ones. All right, looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Next, I want to work on the palm trees. I'm going to use a square brush, if you guys can see that. Square brush with my dirty black fingers. And do our palm trees. I'm going to bring this guy up. And then one last palm tree just because I feel like it's it's a little blank and um, well obviously it's not blank but I want to add a little something more to it so I feel like um, maybe like right behind this guy Alright, so there you have it. You have your two Las Vegas themed rocks. And, um, and your how-tos. Um, so I hope you like the tutorial. Change it up, add some cool new stuff, teach me some tricks. And, uh, have fun.